A symbol of hate used by ISIS to target Christians in Iraq has instead become a rallying cry for the global Christian community. It's a story that CBSNews.com is shedding some light on. We'll speak to a reporter who's been covering this trend. It's something that's trending online. But first, here's a video clip with a bit of an explanation. Now, the clip is narrated by an American who has lived in Iraq for almost eight years and started bringing attention to the symbol through social media. watching the homes of Christians be marked with this Arabic letter N, marking them for extermination. I, I was just very moved and, and hurt in my soul and inspired to try and do something to awaken the emotions of people anywhere, everywhere to pay attention to this tragedy. The Arabic letter N is the first letter noon in the word Nasrani. And so by marking them with the letter noon or N, as we would say it in English, they're referring to the Christian community in Iraq. My name is Jeremy Courtney, and I started the We Are In hashtag in mid-July after the fall of Mosul. I think what ISIS inadvertently accomplished in their marking of Christians and the marking of Christian homes, they gave us a logo on which to hang our best hopes for Iraq. Joining us is the author of the web article, CBSNews.com reporter, Heba Canso. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about this. Um, I think a lot of people start to become aware of the plight of Christians in Iraq when they heard about the Yazidis who were stranded on this mountaintop. But there are Christians all over Iraq who are being persecuted. Yeah, and Jamie Courtney was specifically talking about the Christians in Mosul, Iraq. It was reported that the Christians were given an ultimatum, pay a religious tax, convert to Islam, or be killed. Mm -hmm. And so many Christians fled. So in a moment of frustration, Jeremy Courtney took a red marker, put the noon on his hand, put it on Twitter, and has hashtagged it, we are N. Mm -hmm. And it's taken off, and it sort of reminds me of, you know, the hashtag, bring, bring back our girls, and it brought a lot of attention to uh, the plight of these girls in Nigeria. How is this hashtag being used? This hashtag is being used. You saw Jeremy put it on yeah. his hand. People are putting it in, in social media pictures, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. People have made it into buttons. They've put the letter on buttons, on T-shirts, on hats. They put it in posters, in marches, and protests as well. Um, so obviously this has gone beyond just being online, an online thing. Yeah, and like I mentioned, so it's been used in protests and marches, yeah. but also vigils. I went to a church in Manhattan that um, used this during their vigils for persecuted Christians in Iraq and Syria. Mm -hmm. And they put this on buttons that they uh, walked around in Manhattan from their church to Herald Square was their ending spot. Mm -hmm. um, and I went to one of their masses where churchgoers were actually wearing the button with the noon on it. Wow, that's very interesting. And it's sort of become a global phenomenon now, right? Yeah, people across America have been posting it on their, again, Instagrams, Facebook, Twitter accounts, um, people in Canada, Australia, England, and they've basically taken this symbol that was used to mark Christians uh, in Iraq uh, as a symbol of solidarity. Yeah, I like this idea of uh, taking over sort of the symbol that the oppressor has given you and, and claiming it for yourself, but these sort of hashtag campaigns have received a lot of criticism that, oh yeah, it's really easy to sort of do something on your Twitter feed, but are you really doing anything at all to to uh, to bring change about? Where are they hoping that this goes? Well, when I spoke with Jeremy Courtney, he was really happy that this was bringing attention to what was happening on the ground. Mm -hmm. However, he really wants to see more of a humanitarian effort on yeah. the ground, uh, especially more than just the Christians, but all people who are affected by ISIS in the Middle East. Yeah, I think, uh, well, hopefully he gets what he wants. It sounds like a great idea and hopefully continues to trend. Heba Canso, reporter for CBSNews.com, thank you so much. Thank you. If you'd like to read Heba's article and see the video, it's posted on our website at cbsnews.com.